So the first battery test I ran while remotely accessing and directly working from my office computer drained the battery 80% in 85 minutes. However, the problem with that test was that I was also connected to an external monitor, which likely contributed to the power loss and is probably an uncommon peripheral setup unless docked and connected to power. I still think we learned something and I'll leave a link to that video below. This time, a more traditional case use scenario drained the battery 80% in 2 hours and 48 minutes. So it'll take about double the time. Still just okay. Now, there are ways to improve this, reducing screen and keyboard brightness, adjusting windows, NVIDIA and Razer's power settings, disconnecting Bluetooth devices, etc. However, the reason I bought this particular laptop was because of its impressive hardware. Its efficiency will already be limited when not connected to a power supply, and I have no interest in limiting it further. If this were a situation where I was willing to or needed to limit power in order to prolong battery, I could always take advantage of the battery life improvement settings. So here's the breakdown. This is the Razer Blade 16 with the dual mode mini LED display. I use it in the 4K 120Hz setting. This model has the Intel Core i9-13950HX, NVIDIA's GeForce RTX 4090, 32GB of RAM, 2TB of SSD storage, and it's running Windows 11 Home Edition with Google Chrome as the default browser. I usually keep the laptop docked, using it as a desktop replacement with Windows Power Mode set to best performance and Razer set to high. When I undock it, the only adjustments I make are to the screen and keyboard brightness. And while on battery, Razer limits their performance mode to balanced. With a stable Wi-Fi connection, the display's brightness is set to 50%, and out of what I believe are 15 brightness settings to the keyboard, I have it set to level 2. Both my Logitech MX mouse and Google Pixel are connected via Bluetooth, and I have the following programs running in the background. Power Toys, Phone Link, Windows Security, OneDrive, Quick Look, Razer Central, and Adobe Creative Cloud. The workflow consists of some light video editing in Premiere, mostly reviewing and importing clips, a little bit of browsing in Google Chrome, including watching a few YouTube videos. I installed a new piece of software, connected remotely to my office computer for a few minutes, answered some emails, worked on some expenses in Excel, and streamed music a good amount of the time. The results were okay considering my settings. I got a little more than two and a half hours of decent work done before my battery hit 20%. I'm not mad at this, but it did leave me reaching for the charger sooner than I'd like. I'm Dre. This is Attention Spent. See you in the next one.